a lot of you didn't like my swan. <laughs> this is where I have my other swans. I'll show you what else I got at the thrift store. And then I'm going to work on my rug, depending on how, how hot it is outside. It's got up to 110 this weekend. That's my other swan that I got at the thrift store. And that's the one I painted. This one I paint. I did not paint that one. It was like that already. And then my other one, that green one, I might, maybe I'll see if I can do a concrete swan. This is the green one that I got at the thrift store if you missed it. I think it's cute green too, but I kind of wanted to paint it to look concrete or put concrete over it. And then I got this frame this weekend. This is the one that had the cheetah in it. I loved the Caroler people. I know some of you didn't like those either. <laughs> I just thought they would be cute for Christmas. And this, I don't think it's old, but I just thought it was pretty. And that I got because I know a lot of you showed interest in that one and the one that I painted. I thought after poor Trav gets me shipping costs, he's my shipper guy, then I can maybe sell that one and the one, the other one that I painted. And then I got these for Christmas time. They're the old brass, like the solid brass ones. Love those. Some of you were telling me that you got those for a dollar way back when at some store. And then I went back for the lamp and this is the iron stone that I picked up. That I love. I thought it'd be cool with big bars of soap. You know the big huge bars of soap and other things that we can use them for but I thought in the kitchen in our new house or maybe in our shower or something doing that and then I got this lamp probably to take it apart and use these these parts for something and this <laughs> I found this at an estate sale it's the one I got the rug from but it was a different one that they were running this weekend and I saw this in one of the pictures so I called from the game and well I texted her because I had her text from when she set the rug out for me and she said it was still available and she um, I could pay her over the phone and then Caden went and picked it up and it was only five dollars five dollars and the big huge basket that we most of all of us loved has the only part that I see that's like really kind of wrong with it which can be easily fixed is this little thing it can be glued and Trav said he could put like little support on there for it. I love that I found that. Next. Finally ready to go start sanding now that it's the hottest part of the day, but I wanted to show you uh, Christine at Shutter Tree Photos is having a See that mirror? I'm gonna show you how we got that up there in a second. <laughs> She's having a, a sale, 10% off site or um, prints and canvases and the discount will show up and check out. That's one of the photos that I have from her. I have lots of her horse photos. Looking at you. So crisp. <laughs> this is another one that I have of hers that I think I ruined, but I wanted to show it to you because it's one of my favorites. And now I probably need a new print of it. I. I was switching things around and I left it out by my soda blaster when I was using my soda blaster and it got dust all over it and it's not coming off very good. I think this is a 16 by 20, if I remember right. And I, I love this one too. Most of these frames, I get them at thrift stores and then I paint them or, or don't. She has all different sizes though, like I said, and not just horses, lots of other things too. So I'll put her link here. When we moved in here, winter rental, if you're new here, there was this real thin like mirror that's kind of pasted to the wall. <laughs> so we just put this one over it. The end. <laughs> the part that's sanded is all right here. 
comes over like this. I know some of you don't see my vision, but I love, I love these old worn rugs. And I love on this one how it's sewn together in five different, I guess, yeah, five different strips. So I got that and the rest of the rug to do. But a lot of it's already taken off by those rug moms. Chef Knight. Trav's helping me out. Making the whole meal. What a guy. We are having Carolina style steak strip tacos. These look really good. Oven ready pans, my favorite. Throw Three everything in. Ingredients, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and you just throw everything in those pans and then you put it in the oven and done. I think I'm going to be done sandy for tonight. I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes and my arm is hurting. It's either you're boiling here or you're getting bit up by mosquitoes. So Home Chef gave me a code. It's Natalie FA and I think it's really cool that they're doing this. So for every new customer, the orders September 30th or before, they're donating $5 to Feeding America for every new customer, the orders up to $100,000. And you get $90 off, which is basically like 10 free meals. All kind of different options with Home Chef. We've actually been having Home Chef all summer and it's so nice because the kids can make it with recipe cards. They have super quick, easy meals healthy. I love the oven ready ones. We get the microwave meals sometimes and there's the 15 minute meal kit. There's the oven ready ones. You can order ahead. So I'll put the link in the swipe up here if you want to check it out. If you want to try it out. We always love Home Chef. It's done. Do you love it, Brian? <laughs> Dad said this is his one of his favorite Home Chef meals ever. What do you think? You too. But um, I just ordered a bunch of their tree farm, which is um, the scents done by um, the Vintage Sports, Natalie. It's the best. So I wanted to share it with you and they put them in the cutest <laughs> mason jars, okay? So we're gonna turn this around and look. 